He was the most amazing thing you had ever seen. He was this blur in the ring that just came in and destroyed anything. No, he's just a bully. Pass. That's all Fine. it was. He, he, and it worked. He was like the human pit bull. Against Mike Tyson, who is described as 5'11", looks closer to 5'10", because of the squarishness of his build. He disposed of Hector Mercedes inside a single round. And the question that most of the ringsiders are asking is, can he do the same thing again? I'm, I'm not from here. I'm from the dirt, hard bone, segregated ghetto. His life was very, very sad. Very poor kid, lived in Brownsville, really rough neighborhood. He stopped going to school around age seven. He was constantly getting evicted. His mother would <laughs> different kinds of men in order to keep a roof over their heads. While Mike was in the bed, like inches from him, his mother had sex with a man. Got into robbing people when you were seven. You really had no supervision. Mike Tyson was sent to the Tryon Youth Correctional Facility in upstate New York after growing up as a mugger and predator on the streets of Brooklyn. At 12, Tyson was a tough young mugger. I got into trouble, and I went away to this um, formatory upstate New York, and then I met a gentleman named Bobby Stewart that was a boxer. Tyson told Stewart that he wanted to learn how to box. Stewart then brought Tyson to a gym above the police station in Catskill, New York, to meet Customato, who was a legendary fight manager and a legendary trainer and a magnificent man. He taught Mike from the age of 13 to the age of 19 how to control his emotions. We saw Mike Tyson's professional debut, hard to believe it, just about a month ago. In watching the early Mike Tyson fights, he seems to be like an unstoppable force, uniquely devastated, uniquely offensively capable. Down goes Singleton again, a left hook this time. This boy is tough. Trent Singleton in all sorts of trouble. We're already in round one. The referee humanely has seen enough. Tyson shrugs almost as if disappointed that the fight is over so quick. Costimato had a tremendous influence on Mike Tyson. I met this white guy, he was strange, a little odd, and he started saying things like, why, wow, you can be the greatest fighter ever live. Early in the fourth, can Tyson finish this? I think so. So that's enough. When Customato trained you, you were fierce. That's it. See, ain't no way he's going to hit you then, right? And remember, it's always good to throw the punch where you could hit him and he can't hit you. That's what the science of boxing is all about. He's wearing the white trunks with green trim. He is undefeated in three professional bouts, all victories, all knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Mike. Tyson! You would get into the ring and people were scared of you. Were you channeling the anger that you had from your childhood? I think a lot of it had to do with that, you know. And I realized that every fight was um, a decision or if I'm gonna go back to that lifestyle or not. Why, a steam hammer! <laughs> the legs have gone. This is all over. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. That's, that's well inside a minute. Tyson, was, he was like a sponge. He just absorbed everything that Cus had to teach him. You know, the head movement, throwing the punches with, with bad intent. Cus took us to the gym and pointed to a young boy who was hitting the heavy bag very ferociously and said, that's Mike Tyson. Not only is he here, but he will undoubtedly go on to become the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Look at the size of him. He looks like the Incredible Hulk. He really does. In that does. case, I'm glad I'm not Michael Jack Johnson. I'm glad you pointed it out because down he goes, the left hook. He looked unstoppable. He looked like a different planet of ability. I'll tell you, Michael Jack Johnson earned his money the hard way tonight. Well, there's not much to say about that knockout except to watch. But he was far more than a big puncher. He's a very good boxer. This will be a win to let everybody know that Donnie Long is back. First fresh youngster's only 19 years of age. Long is 27. Oh! That's it! Yet. Wow! The left hand puts him down. He collapses, and this one is over as the doctors rush into the ring. Forget what the the press release is saying. He's only five foot ten. Some would have you believe he's six foot. He is not a big heavyweight. He's only a kid. He had this body that could really fool you. 
into forgetting that he was still a kid who had to develop. Left hook, good night. What a great shot. OK, look at the stats. Ten fights, ten wins, seven inside the first round. I want to do something that no fight ever done. Jack Dempsey broke people's eye sockets. I mean, that's to me, I and mean, that's, that's a high. That's, I mean, you have to see that guy did this. When he was being trained by Customato, he was, he was living the complete total existence of a man hell-bent on becoming a world champion. The uh, help that Cus gave Mike was not only in the ring, but out of the ring. Being part of Customato's family was therapeutic. He gave him direction, he gave him order, he gave him care, loving. Tyson's teens were spent in the D'Amato family. Cus eventually adopted him. There's only so much punishment anybody can take. That is the limit of Sterling Benjamin's endurance. You have a sledgehammer, man. You know, when I go down there, I feel it. You get hit hard. It's the hardest I've ever been hit. It is the hardest here. Yeah, it is. I'm my whole career, man. But it's getting harder and harder now to find anybody who wants anything to do with them. I mean, no fighter wants to get run over by a truck. One of the things that's always fascinated me about you is this ability you have to intimidate opponents. A lot of them seem to have been beaten before they got in the ring almost, or when they caught your eye when they got in the ring. Are you aware of that? First punch he threw. Oh, my. Mike Tyson, when the bell rings, he conducts himself as if someone stole something from him. He was so short and he had this crazy style of bobbing and weaving and ripping ridiculous power and speed punches. Mike Tyson, without a doubt, one of the bright stars in the heavyweight picture, now goes to 11-0 with 11 knockouts. It was the first punch thrown in the fight. If you look at early Mike Tyson, the way he was running his way through the heavyweight division, but he was far more than a big puncher. He was a very good boxer. He could jab, he could move, as well as punch. So he was virtually the complete article. And he had that knockout punch in both hands. And of course, when anybody goes to see heavyweight boxing, that's what they want to see. They want to see people get knocked out. And God forbid, if anything happened to Cuff, we're all professionals and we're going to continue. And the outcome is going to be the same. Then in 1985, Customato died. Tyson, he was like my father. I never really had a father figure. The late and legendary trainer Customato was the only real father figure Mike Tyson ever knew. The death of Customato was clearly a huge issue. Well, when C Customato died, I think, is when it all starts really going to crap for Tyson. What led him to success was having a very strict mentor slash coach, Customato. Fight number 13 for Mike Tyson. We're back in Latham. It's the same Mike Tyson, it is not the same camp. This is his second fight since the tragic death of Customato on the 4th of November. Oh, he's shaky. He's so shaky, and we're only in round one. And this is a good fighter. I can hardly believe what I'm seeing. As the left hook, which is fast becoming a Tyson trademark, sends him down. So now Mike Tyson is 13-0, all of his victories coming by knockout, and no bout has gone past the fourth round. Every, right. every fight is a 30-second assault. Those 80s fights with Tyson, where he would just show up and look at people and they would melt. If you blink in the first round, you'll probably miss a Mike Tyson fight. crowd chanting the next heavyweight champion Mike Tyson you definitely are going to hear more about him and then I see you know Mike Tyson was like the hottest up-and-coming fighter Mike has an ability to slip punches that has not been seen in the heavyweight ranks since Muhammad Ali and down he went out there and <clears throat> everybody up in the first round He ran through the division. He changed the whole thing. Us. A double right hand to the body and the chin. Down goes Lorenzo Moore. But here, the spotlight falls most directly on 20-year-old Mike Tyson, whose public appeal grows every time he fights. He was a special force. The most scariest but... fighter on earth. A terrific uppercut.
You got knocked the f*** out. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Cortez moves in to have a look. And he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds. He will have a shot, it appears, at the heavyweight title. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. When you would enter the ring, already popping sweat. Black shoes, no socks, black trunks. Here at the Hilton Hotel, there is electricity in the crowd. I've got goosebumps on the line, the WBC heavyweight championship of the world. As soon as you stepped in the ring, the other guy across the ring, what were you thinking? I mean, because he was thinking, oh, that's my ass. Any question from the champion or the chief sergeant? All right, let's get it on, come on. He absolutely destroyed it. He knocked him all over the ring. Pound for pound, Mike Tyson, the greatest fighter of our era. Don't forget. Tyson already on his stool, his time for perfect. This is round two. And he went down. He goes down. He should be able to get up from this. His legs may be shut. They are. As Trevor Burbank falls back in the room. Mike is a boy prodigy. He's 20 years old. He is uh, quite an incredible force in the heavyweight division, but he's just a boy. It's all over. We've got a brand new heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson. And a devastating second round knockout. Mike Tyson, age 20, became the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. His managers, cornermen, and friends ran to congratulate him. Tyson kissed Jim Jacobs. 20 years old, after less than two rounds, you're the heavyweight champion of the world. But in March of 1988, Jacobs died, and Tyson lost his second father substitute. Before Jacobs was buried, Don King made his move. Uh, and that created the opening, the opportunity, for uh, Don King to move in on a very confused 21-year-old kid. Boxing complex of promoter Don King has become a home away from home for heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. In 1988, once Mike got married, uh, Robin uh, Givens and Ruth, of course, were very interested in taking over Mike's career. They moved into a grand New Jersey mansion. But as soon as she got married, she called up and said, she's Mrs. Mike Tyson, I'm taking over. I want to see all the books and all the records. I happen to know Robin Givens Tyson. And I just want to leave you with this. I've seen a lot of different things. She is one hell of a fine lady. How does a woman who went to Sarah Lawrence and Harvard Medical School wind up falling in love with a guy who's a graduate of the School of Hard Knocks? God, I want to know too. It was reported to us here in New York that Robin and Ruth were at the bank already claiming Mike's account. No one can challenge Mike Tyson right now. You could take anybody out. To... There was a lion in the front yard, loose. Wow. He was on the steps like this with a heavyweight belt. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How come nobody wants to get out the car and play with my cat? The title brought fame, money, and temptation. Four and a half million on automobiles and motorcycles. Once crashed your Rolls Royce and told cops to keep it. Pretty much, he was on coke all the f time. He would walk around with a brick of coke as his personal stash. Tyson reverted back to what he thought he was at heart which was just like this dirty ghetto person that just wanted to have sex and do drugs. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated man who brings the drinks, Michael Speed. This heavy metal sound that you hear is 
Mike Tyson about to make his way in, I believe. The sound is deafening here in the arena, so I won't try to yell over it. All I can say is the heavyweight champion is about to make his appearance in the ring. Everything that Tyson does is intimidating. There he is. He comes out. He doesn't wear a coat in. He's worked up a full sweat. I want to tell you, the electricity in this crowd is awesome. And now, ladies and gentlemen, once and for all, let's get ready to rumble. There he goes. I don't think you'll get up from this. Mike Spence is laying flat on his back. It's all over. Mike Tyson has won it. Speaks almost fell back throw. A dramatic first round knockout for Mike Tyson. Unbelievable strike. It came in the first round. How many people could handle that, too? I mean, you're, the money, the fame at that age, you're the champion, the baddest man alive. It's my belief Mike really turned into the Mike we know today as his marriage to Robin Gibbons came apart. So did he. In a nationally televised interview, Robin Givens told Barbara Walters that Tyson was a manic depressive. He, he gets out of control, um, throwing, screaming. A charge that would later prove groundless. He shakes, he pushes, he, um, he swings. But when I look back at it now, I can't believe I sat there and didn't say anything. The soap opera marriage of boxing champ Mike Tyson and actress Robin Givens is coming to an end. So she brought a guy home to see her into my mansion in my car that I'm not allowed to be at. You want to know who it is? Brad Pitt. Brad must have been smoking a joint. He must have been drinking something because he was real close to me in the car. And he had no idea. He didn't see me. But then when he got out the car, he saw me. Oh, sh Tyson's in Japan to defend his heavyweight boxing title against James Buster Douglas. Within two hours of the champion's arrival here, Tyson Mania was in full cry. I'll leave it at this. He clearly was very distracted coming into the fight, stressed out beyond comprehension. I wonder why that is. He was 37 and 0 at that particular moment in time. He was fierce, he was menacing. Before the fight, rumors had swirled about Tyson's mental and physical state. He'd been knocked down in sparring. He stopped moving his head. He began to accept clinches. He started to jab less. You could see that, that under Don King, not only did his character and morals decline and erode, his boxing technique began to decline and erode. You begin to file through your memory for the biggest upset in heavyweight championship fight history. Douglas insists that he's going to shock the world in this fight. If he should upset Mike Tyson, it would make the shocks in Eastern Europe seem like local ward politics. Like when you're fighting at the real top level of a sport, start missing training, start taking drugs, start sleeping around. They had neglected to bring a standard piece of equipment called an end swell, an ice-cold steel press used to reduce the swelling around the eyes of a battered fighter. They were trying to put icy water into a, a latex glove to hold against his eye. And, and suddenly it became clear they didn't have a cut man, they didn't have any equipment. Mike Tyson had actually won the fight in the eighth round when he dropped Buster Douglas, and that yeah. count was excessively long. And there's a right hand uppercut, and down goes Douglas. As suddenly as that. Can he beat the count? He got a little overconfident. That was a long count. Buster was it a Douglas should have been counted out. He should have been counted out. Still wobbly. Let's see what Mike can do to finish. And the bell ends to save Buster Douglas at the end of round eight. of the end mm -hmm. of Mike Tyson, the Mike Tyson that we knew.
So at the peak of your career, you were convicted and sent to prison for rape, yes. which you, you write and you talk about in your Broadway show that you, you did not do. Her name is Desiree. And he's dumb. You saw what Robin Givens got out of him. He's someone that... He has so much money, he's always throwing it around. I might as well get a piece of it. You know, that's how people looked at it. Serving a six-year term at the Indiana Youth Center, Tyson was back in the setting he knew all too well. Everything his adopted father, Customato, had tried to prevent had come true under the tutelage of Don King. And they destroyed the greatest fighter I've ever seen. The debt is paid, the prison term over. Three years ago tomorrow, Mike Tyson entered an Indiana penitentiary Tyson went straight into training, and the fights came back. Yes, Tyson is back, and with him comes the attention and excitement that only a superstar can generate. Through all the upheaval, Tyson remained the sport's most famous and infamous figure and its biggest box office draw. Now, if the former champion is to climb the mountain one more time, that journey must begin tonight in impressive fashion. In a quick protect yourself at all times, I expect a tough, clean fight. Any questions from McNeely's corner? Any questions from Mr. Tyson's corner? Let's get it on! Just like that, it's over. The convict was still a draw. His very first fight after release won him $25 million. How much money do you think he spent on drugs? I mean, you're an incredibly wealthy man. I don't know. Um, I spent enough. Most of my drugs are free, you know, but um, yeah, I had fun with drugs. He fought on coke. He used a fake dick, a fake dick, to pass drug tests. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson! Mike Tyson! And here he is, the walking powerhouse, Mike Tyson, who says his objective simply is to throw punches at all times. A very loose-looking Bruce Selden, a very serious-looking... I had unified championship again when I beat Bruce Selden. I fought him and beat him in the one-round knockout. And I had two belts on my waist after being out of prison out of 11 months. I really thought I was somebody special then, because no one's ever done that, not even Muhammad Ali. And then, um, once again, I let everything go, go away, and I believed I was a god, I believed I was great. I didn't believe I had to train for nobody, I thought everybody was afraid of me. Apparently, Holyfield kept headbutting him over and over again. The ref didn't do anything about it. No one warned him, no one gave, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting buddy like that. Right. I got children to raise. And this guy keeps butting me, trying to cut me and get me stopped on cut. I gotta retaliate. So Tyson got really dazed and confused and finally snapped and bit his ear. What happened here? He got bit, I think. I kept on saying, I wanna get him back. I wanna get him back. Hey, holy bill. Look out, he's pushed right here. Above us by Tyson. He's got a bloody right ear. Holyfield bit by a dirty Mike Tyson. So we go back in, and all of a sudden, you bit this ear. Mike Tyson has bit Evander Holyfield for the second time, and it is all out for Mike Tyson will fight again, and you'll pay to see him. But this time, you're going to pay twice as much. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. And Tyson goes down for the third time in his career. There's a lack of a challenge then. There's a lack of a goal. There's no more mountain. So now it's just chaos and cocaine and women. And, and, and then eventually the wheels fall off. I was madly in love with Custom Motto. I became, um, he broke me down and rebuilt me back up, and um, I became totally loyal to him. And hell bent on becoming the world champion. Remember from the side, you can let that punch go with the Stewart okay. has stated categorically that he knows he needs to keep throwing punches to try to keep Tyson occupied. If he stops throwing, he'll be dead. 
This could be quick. Seven, I was afraid of a 30-second sound bite. Eight, this fight is over. Tyson was was exceptional. He, to use the word animal might be the bit of disrespect, really, but he, he certainly was in the ring. I mean, he feared nothing. Mike permits himself to be pushed around. He is one person in the ring and a completely different person when uh, we go out. Look at you scared now, you ho. Scared like a little white f Scared of the real man. I'll f*** you till you love me, f By the looks of this guy, this is not consensual sex we're talking about. Kevin told us this guy's gonna be champion as long as he wants to be champion, and it's obvious he wants to continue being champion. Anyway, champion of the world. What will people remember about Mike Tyson 50 years from now? 50 years? I don't know that most destructive, ferocious fighting machine that God ever created. Yeah, that's what I think.